Good morning, today I'm doing Running with the Cows in Bucyrus, Kansas. Okay, I'm getting ready to do the half marathon here, and I'm here with Brandon. Is that right? Yep. And he um, has. We've talked a little bit on YouTube. Yep. On the comments channel. So, first, this isn't your first. Uh, you could say this isn't your first rodeo if it's running with the cows, right? <laughs> yes, first rodeo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, are you excited? Yeah, it'll be a good time. I think. Okay. Good to well, see some new stuff. Yeah. Along the course. Yeah. See some. See some, see some animals. <laughs> yeah. See some cows. All right. Well, I'll see you out there. All right. We'll see you. Have a good run. All right. You too. Thanks. Okay. This is the running with the cows half marathon. Um, this is a very fun race because it's just kind of it's really close to my house actually, but it's still kind of hard to get to here because there's so many people. Um, but it is a course that is out in the country, so you literally do run with some cows um, through it. Um, the course is slightly different this year, but I. Don't know if I have the course memorized to even know what the difference is. It's kind of all the same anyway because you're running through these fields. Um, there's a lot of people here. Um, I'm looking at the line for the bathroom. It's super long. Um, got about 20 minutes till the half marathon starts. Already seen a ton of people here that I know. So I feel like anyone that's running in the Kansas City running community is here today. Um, Going to be a good time. I'm a little worried about the sun coming out. Um, it's like 90% humidity already and 70 degrees. So still trying to get acclimated to that uh, summer running, but gonna have to do it eventually because gonna be training all summer. So I'm gonna go get closer to the starting line and get ready to get started.
Okay, around a mile in, and it is going to be a bad one. I'm already like soaked in sweat. A lot of people are walking already, so just trying to stay to myself so I can get to the end. Katie's one appearance in the race. Um, she got stuck in the long line. Start up potties. Yeah, so what do you think of this weather so far? I'm already I know. corn bucket here. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be... I feel the PTSD from last year <laughs> kicking in. Yeah, I'm already trying to like just cut back because I feel like I'm going to have to walk it that in because it yeah. is like so draining. I'm going to hang with you for a while. Okay. I did just run a marathon. Oh, and yeah. I did just get my leg tattooed. So uh, Katie's full of excuses today. I am. And I'm a good person to run with if you got excuses to run so. <laughs> I'm gonna lie when I say I moved on. And cry when I hear a favorite song. And I would like just to bury you, bury my feelings now. It's an honest try. Katie again. So far I've tried to high five several people and I swear I've missed everyone's hand so sorry about that. Around five and a half miles left. Still super miserable in this. Um, hopefully everyone's being really careful. Um, this heat, dew point, temperature and all this stuff, especially like early in the season, is really rough. So hopefully everyone stay careful, makes it to the end. If you ran this, no matter if you're way in front of me or way behind me, you gotta have a lot of respect for me because this was not an easy day to do it. Okay, really close back to the church. I'm going out and back in 223rd and then we'll finish up. About four and a half miles left. On this last out and back, the wind is behind us pushing us and then when we turn around, the wind is gonna be in our face. So. Looking forward to feeling that wind in my face. Just getting ready to pass mile marker 10.
Thank you. That was the running with the cows half marathon. Um, I feel like that was never going to end, especially like the last half, and it was just so hot. So I decided to go get the air conditioning and cool off and try to lay down and maybe get some deep. This is the metal that we got, like that. It's good for half marathon. So good race. I wouldn't really recommend doing this for your first half marathon, but if you um, have done a few, this is a good one for you. So gonna get out of here go find my car and go home so thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time